Hey everybody and welcome to my tutorial about how to draw Steven Universe. It's been about one year since I made my lion drawing tutorial so it's been long enough. Alright then, let's get right to it. So we are going to start with the head and for the head we are going to draw kind of like an egg shape. Uh, it is a little bit flatter than an oval here on the sides. And we are going to make the center lines here to determine in which direction he is going to look at. Now I'm going to zoom in and we are drawing the chin which is starting right here where the center line is and then fusing with the bottom of this circle here like so. And next of all we are going to draw the eyes. They are quite big about a little bit bigger than a quarter of this um, head circle and we draw very simple oval shapes like so. One on this side and one right here. Keep in mind that you leave enough of space between the eyes and also right here to the back side of the head. Next of all we are going to draw the nose which is here a little bit in front of this eye here and we have a line coming about from the middle uh, from this eye here and then straight down like so and two more of these lines which are pretty much parallel to this one here and this is the nose. Now for the pupils we just draw simple oval shapes one is right here and the other one so he's looking right at our direction. Now for the ear it is again a simple oval shape right here a little bit smaller than the eyes and for the hair we are going to draw here a little bit of an indication of a circle and then we curve around and go right to the top here where we slowly fuse with the line here. Alright, now next of all we are going to draw the mouth and we of course are going to give him a big smile. And we draw the mouth opened just like a big bean shape, if you could call it like that. And for the teeth we are going to draw three curves. We are just very slightly curved like so and one little curve here for the tongue and here we have the back side of the mouth. Now for the eyebrows we are drawing these little bean shapes all the way up here on top of the forehead to emphasize his happy smile and that's simple enough and also the, this bean shape can be curved around the other way depending on what kind of emotion you want him to show. Now for the hair, we're leaving a small gap between the hair and the chin and curve it around and go around the head like this. Keep in mind that this distance here is a little bit um, shorter than here and at the back of the head it is at its biggest. This now looks like an afro uh, but it's a helpful guideline to get the uh, uh, partitions right. Uh, one would be like one uh, separating line would be right here on top of the head, then one about the height of the top of the ear, and then we just simply half the remaining sections, uh, and then draw these curves for the hair for his individual locks or tafts. I don't know how to say. Uh, my vocabulary is not good enough for that. And depending on whether he's running or um, there is some wind blowing, then the curvature of these uh, hair locks would also change. Right here it's pretty neutral. Alright, now that's it for the head, we're moving over to the body now and I'm turning it back again. Now for the body, we're going to draw a very simple kind of a almost like a box shape but a little bit rounded and make sure that you make it quite big 
and the size is approximately like the size of the head circle maybe a little bit bigger uh, you don't have to be super exact about it although it's uh, depending on what kind of um, scene he is the proportions change a lot it's a cartoon series after all and um, yeah you don't have to be super exact about it you can't be actually that's the thing so uh, this line here is for his pants and we're going to draw a center line again uh, for helping us out with uh, the direction and I'm going to draw here the zipper of the pants and of course we are giving him the star on his shirt and to tell you a little bit trivia about the show well Rebecca Sugar who is the maker of Steven Universe um, she made this character in the image of her brother who has the same name uh, Steven, Steven Sugar and she talked about, well both of them talked about um, how they played games and watched cartoon series together as kids and also uh, made their own comic stories and they have been always creative and also her brother is actually uh, a background artist for uh, the series and she was also talking about their very good relationship uh, as brother and sister he was always there for her whenever she felt uh, down or weird or something and um, he was just there they didn't even need words or anything but just him being at her side was enough and it's very special all right next of all we are drawing the arms and at first i'm going to draw here his hand and he's going to make a fist and there is a simple way to draw an ear and, and simple looking fist and this is just by having these two curves right here and then just simply draw a line and the rest of the fingers are pretty simple just draw more of these little curves here and that's it very simple now we draw the shoulder and connect it with the hand and the thickness of the hand is uh, pretty much the same as the arm itself and it's very constant thickness So you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure that it's uh, overall big enough And also we have here the shirt sleeve and the other arm is reaching up waving at us friendly as he is and this is the arm itself and here we have the palm of the hand which is about as I explained before at the same thickness and I'm going to draw the hand and the fingers um, pretty much how I explained in my previous video about how to draw cartoon hands I have here the individual fingers as lines then I draw the circles for the fingertips and Stephen has very short fingers kind of chubby too uh, yeah, and then we are going to simply connect the individual fingers with the palm and always make sure that you give it a little bit of roundness here and leave some gaps and yeah Rebecca also um, explained the connection between this character and her brother um, and her brother always was like very comfortable with his life uh, he got a lot of attention uh, but still he wanted always to rise up and be more than just the little brother and this is very much like Steven Universe here who in the show also gets a lot of attention and love from his dad and from the other crystal gems and his friends from uh, Beach City however he isn't uh, completely uh, satisfied with it and, and he doesn't need to change or anything because he's already getting everything that he wants and that he needs but instead he still wants to get stronger he wants to learn things and improve um, and I think this is a very admirable trait and as for the legs we are drawing here very simple um, cylinder shapes and I leave some uh, distance here to get to um, keep the roundness of his you know, backside and here we have the leg which is uh, we shouldn't 
bit too long like this distance here from the top of the pants to the bottom of his leg should be about the size again like uh, of the head circle and the other leg is going to uh, be up like this like he's striking a pose or walking or something like that uh, making him just look a little bit funnier so and now we're going to draw the feet um, with his shoes, with his flip-flops and we're going to make it in this way like we have the base and then this tip right here and this is how I draw the basic shape and then the bottom of the shoe we have here of course and the same on the other side we have this tip here I'm going to extend the line here a little bit and then we are going to divide it like here uh, of course I have to draw the bottom of the shoe of course and here we have the big thumb and here are going to be the other thumbs and we have the strap of the flip-flops like here so we have one curve right here um, to the big thumb and then another longer curve connecting to the shoe again and here for the other toes I just uh, recognize that I have been saying thumb all the time this is not correct these are toes I always make this mistake uh, yeah and on the other side we do of course the same uh, the big thumb uh, toe is here on the inner side then we have the strap curving around like so and then we have the little lines for the smaller toes but we cannot see all of them they are a little bit hidden right here all right and this is pretty much how you draw the feet and for the pants we also draw these two lines here and yeah this is pretty much um, how you draw Steven Universe well one way to draw Steven Universe of course I'm not saying that this is the way uh, as always I just give you my way of how I do it but you can do it differently of course so what you can also do is to have here a little bit more of a curvature here to indicate his chubbiness as to say uh, and yeah this is pretty much it and I'm going to fast forward now for the outlining and coloring and get right back to you when I'm done. Alright. and we're done. I had to do some corrections because well explaining and drawing at the same time is still difficult for me and so it can't be helped. So now I want to do a second drawing in order to show you what else you can do with the techniques that I explained and it's going to be completely in time-lapse. The point is already quite a few people are using my tutorials and sometimes there's a nice to show the results to me which is awesome I, I really love to see it. The thing is however most people are just copying one by one what I'm doing in the tutorials but that's not the point. What I'm showing to you most of the time are techniques in order to draw them in whatever way you want to. So therefore I want to show you that you can do so much more with the second example. Ok I will be right back after the time lapse.
Alright, done. You can see, I drew him this time in a very different pose, but still used pretty much the same techniques. In this drawing he is more serious, like he's in a fighting situation and he is holding up his shield. To say something about that, uh, you have to consider that the shield has a curvature, it's not completely flat. And therefore, the middle point is not exactly the middle of this oval shape here, but moved a little bit uh, to the side, so you give it the illusion of this curvature. Also, the border of the shield is thinner on this side than here on this side. Also I drew him in a way that the camera is pretty much at ground level and therefore it's pointing up a little bit and we are looking from below uh, which emphasizes this heroic posture as to say. And so for this perspective I drew the facial features more upwards uh, so the gap here uh, for the forehead is smaller and for the chin it's bigger. I also thought it would be cool to add some light here from the shield and some little sparklies because why not. And I added another nice little feature which is this here. I added some animations. I hope you like it. So I can already tell you that there will be many more Steven Universe characters. I simply love the show and obviously I have to draw more of them. Now let's get to the Q&A section and this time's question is how are the lines that you draw so perfectly straight? Well, I can show you. So I have my program here again, Clip Studio Paint and when I normally draw lines then the shakiness of my hand gets quite obvious. I cannot really draw straight lines that well. But there are tools that are helping me out. The first tool would be the stabilization here and I can have all sorts of values and let's take the maximum here and when I draw something now, even when I draw very slowly, the lines are very smooth. And you can see that the line is lagging behind and that is because the program is waiting to get some values uh, of how I'm moving the pen and then just takes the average value of it, as far as I understand it, uh, and then the line itself is just these average values and depending on how much stabilization I choose, the waiting time, as to say, is greater. The downside of it is of course that I cannot draw quickly in an accurate way. Another way is just to have this initial point and then hold the shift button and then press again to have a straight line from one point to another. And now a very cool thing about this program are the rulers. I can use all sorts of rulers like for example here a parallel line ruler which is applied to the layer and now all the lines that I draw on this layer are perfectly parallel to the ruler. And no matter how far off I go, only the part which is going into the direction uh, to the parallel line is taken and nothing else. And then there is the perspective ruler which I used very often in my perspective tutorials and the question was also asked on one of my tutorials about perspective. And the thing is about this ruler is you can set the vanishing points wherever you want to by having these lines here and you just have the cross section and this cross section is then the vanishing point and here in this example I have three vanishing points so we have three point perspective but I could also reduce it to a two point perspective and have this vanishing point be infinitized and so this means that all the lines uh, are parallel in this direction. And now when I draw something, depending on in which direction I am moving my pen, it goes to the different vanishing points. Like when I go straight up, then we have this infinitized vanishing point, I go down to the right and we have this one here, down to the left and we have this one here, and I could also hold and it simply adjusts it depending on in which angle I am right now. And therefore it's a very easy and quick way to draw and it's really really helpful for me. So I hope this clears the mystery about how I draw these straight lines so quickly and easily. Alright, if you have any questions then just let me know in the comment section. I actually would appreciate it if you ask me lots of questions. And if you want to help me keeping the show running then you can check out my Patreon page. I would really very highly appreciate it. So then, have fun drawing. <laughs>